Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Hello, welcome to Babies and Books. My name is Miss Karen, and I am a programming specialist at Eckhart Public Library. I'm going to share a story with you and some songs and some rhymes, and we're even going to meet a friend of mine named Miss Pinky. I hope that you will join me every Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. for a new session of Babies and Books. Parents, here's a tip today. Please don't expect your baby or young toddler to be able to stay engaged for the entire story time for beginning to end. Developmentally, young children have an attention span of only two to three minutes per year of life. So with that, let's just enjoy what your baby enjoys today and we'll build upon that each week. Right, we're gonna start with a song called Wake Up Feet. This song is a great song for teaching, ba teaching babies their body parts. So today we're going to wake up our feet, we're gonna wake up our hands, we're gonna wake up our ears, and we're gonna wake up our belly. And this is how it goes, here we go. Wake up feet, wake up feet, wake up feet, and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up feet, wake up feet, Wake up and wiggle in the morning. Wake up hands, wake up hands, wake up hands and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up hands, wake up hands, wake up and wiggle in the morning. Wake up ears, wake up ears, wake up ears and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up ears, wake up ears, Wake up and wiggle in the morning. Wake up belly, wake up belly, wake up belly and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up belly, wake up belly, wake up and wiggle in the morning. Good job. All right, we are going to move on to a nursery rhyme and I am going to introduce you to my friend. Her name is Miss Pinky, and here she is today. Hi, boys and girls. I'm so happy to see you. I have a special nursery rhyme to tell you today called Little Miss Muffet. Here we go. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Great job, Miss Piggy. We'll see you later. I have a tip for you caregivers about nursery rhymes. We ask, are nursery rhymes important? And sharing nursery rhymes with your baby can help him or her create mental images in his or her head with every line of the rhyme. And this helps your baby develop his or her imagination. So nursery rhymes are great to share with your babies. We have a story next about a meddlesome monkey, and here he is. Isn't he cute? This story is about a little monkey who kind of gets into some trouble. Our story goes like this. A little monkey was sitting at the top of a tree by the river. Down below, the fishermen were throwing their nets out into the water. Little monkey said, that looks like fun. I want to try it. When the fishermen went off for their lunch, he scampered down the big tree and grabbed the nearest net, but he was much too small. And instead of throwing the net into the water, it wrapped itself all around little monkey. The more he wiggled to get free, the tighter it became until he rolled into the water. 
Luckily for him, the fisherman came back just in time to rescue him. You stick to jumping around the trees, they said, and leave us to do the fishing. The end. Okay, we have an action rhyme next. Where it is called Five Little Babies. There are some motions that go along with this too. So we're gonna start with our rocking of our baby and it goes like this. One little baby rocking in a tree. Two little babies splashing in the sea. Three little babies crawling on the floor. Four little babies banging on the door. Five little babies playing hide and seek. Keep your eyes closed tight till I say peek. Good job. All right, we have another nursery rhyme to share and Miss Pinky is gonna join us again. Here she comes. Oh, I bet you'll know this one. It's a song called Row, Row, Row Your Boat. We've added some extra verses this time, so here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently up a creek. If you see a little mouse, don't forget to squeak. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Row, row, row your boat gently to the shore. If you see a lion there, don't forget to roar. Roar! Good job, Pinky. All right. We're at the end of our story time already. We always end with a closing song to say goodbye. I hope you'll join me next week for a new session of Babies and Books. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye.